On December 11th, the micronation of Byzantium Novum reflects on the Emperor Julian entering Constantinople as the sole emperor of all Roman lands in 361 AD. Julian was a nephew of the Emperor Constantine I. He and his brother Gallus were two of the few members of the imperial family to survive the purges and civil wars during the reign of his cousin, the Eastern Roman Emperor Constantius II. Julian's father had been executed in 337 AD. Spared because they were young children, Julian and his brother Gallus had been raised under Constantius II's close supervision. In 351 AD Constantius Gallus, Julian's older brother, was made Caesar, but Constantius II became suspicious of him and had him executed in 354 AD. During this time Julian II had been raised in seclusion and was pursuing scholarly interests, and was eventually allowed to travel to the city of Athens to study. However in 355 AD, Constantius II brought Julian to the imperial court and appointed him as Caesar of the West. The Western Empire was in a dire military situation due to Germanic invasions and it was hoped an imperial presence would stabilize the Western lands. Although he had no formal army training Julian II turned out to be an extremely successful military leader. He rallied the Western forces and completely defeated the invading German raiders who previously had been destroying entire cities with impunity. Constantius II was a suspicious man, most especially of family members. Julian's successes, although exactly what Constantius had commanded, now made him see Julian as a threat to his rule. He demanded that Julian's armies travel to the Eastern Empire to help fight against the Persian Empire. Julian understood that this would leave him defenseless against what German forces might still threaten the West, and also leave him vulnerable should Constantius order his execution on any pretense. This tense situation became more dire when Julian's troops refused to leave their homeland to fight on the other side of the empire. They proclaimed Julian as Augustus, putting Julian in conflict with Constantius II. Just before open war broke out, the Emperor Constantius II fell ill and died while his army marched to attack Julian's forces. Left with no other family he proclaimed Julian the sole leader of the empire before he passed. This was a miracle for Julian as Constantius II had defeated all rivals in the past. With all armies now acclaiming him as Augustus, he continued his way east and reached Constantinople on December 11th, passing into the city where he officially took up control of the empire. This was in many ways a time of new hope for the empire. The successful general who had saved the West was now in command, and he was a far less paranoid and suspicious ruler than Constantius II had been. Julian considered himself a philosopher and set out to reform the imperial court and mend many abuses which had existed for years.